I just had an all out war with a bottle of soap not too long ago. Welcome back to $3 down, ladies and gentlemen. But Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, man, who's making these soap bottles? These generic bottles of hand soap for your bathroom that you find in your local supermarket or whatever. Who, who are making these things, dude? What's up with this nonsense? Am I an idiot? Am I dumb or like, wh why are these things so hard to open up when you initially buy it? When you're getting ready to use it for the first time, you have to like, you have to open the, the, the pump, the hand pump. You have to open it up, lift it up in a way so you're able to, you know, pump the soap out. How do you do that? How do you do that every single time? We have a new bottle of hand soap. I cannot open it up. I just tried it just now. I was doing everything in my power to get it open. I was twisting it to the right, twisting it to the left, pulling it up, seeing if that works, pushing it down. Maybe, maybe I got to push it down to, to like reverse it or some nonsense. I don't know, man. But eventually I, gr I got so frustrated. I pulled it too hard and then the whole thing just broke. It just broke. I pulled it all the way out the hand pump itself i pulled it out and i saw a spring go flying down the sink i was like oh my god oh my good lord dude i just left the soap bottle there no i still use it i just had to pour out the soap i couldn't pump it i just have to pour out the soap out of the bottle dude it's the most annoying thing i've ever seen in my entire life why are these things so hard to to initially open what's up with this i don't think i've ever seen anybody open one of these up successfully i don't think i've ever seen anyone do it dude what's up with this garbage this is ridiculous it's too much it's the most annoying thing ever and i can't even fix it because the spring fell down the sink i literally saw it it was like in slow motion i saw it just fumbling its way down the sink i couldn't even react fast enough because my mind was so clouded with with sheer raw primal rage i couldn't even comprehend what was going on dude i couldn't move fast enough to catch the spring i was just like okay well there it goes there it goes i still gotta wash my hands dude i just got done taking a, a massive dump and i'm over here fighting for my life with a soap bottle are you out of your mind dude get out of here this is this is ridiculous man i hate these things well what are like good alternatives to hand soap with pumps with those hand pumps, dude. Are there any other bottles of soap I can use that don't have a hand pump? Because, dude, oh my god. And I'm talking about, like, hand soap that you would just have on your on your bathroom counter. Where where are the normal ones, dude, that you, that you maybe just have to, like, squeeze, you know? All I see are the hand pump ones, man. I'm talking about hand soap that would be in the bottle of, like, a, a bottle of body wash, you know? Give me some something like that. Something that's pretty much idiot proof dude seriously get me out of this mess i'm tired of it it was so annoying jesus dude good lord you know did you know that gnc and gmc are two different entities i did not know that <laughs> i did not know that i'm not kidding i did not know that gnc and GMC are two different companies. They're two completely different companies. GNC is apparently like some, I don't know, like some supplement, medicinal supplement supplier nonsense. And GMC is, you know, General Motors, the, the car company. I thought they were the same dudes, <laughs> dude. I thought it was the same company. Seriously, like GNC and GMC, dude. Are you kidding me? Anybody can make that, that, that anyone could put the two pieces together and think those are like the same thing. You know what I mean? GMC, GNC, even the logo, even each of their logos look identical. Seriously. They look very similar. Are you kidding me, man? I'm like, uh, my dad was like, Hey man, I'm going to GNC. You need anything? I'm like, Whoa, you going to GNC? You getting me a car? Yeah, I need something. Give me a car or something. He's like, what? What are you? Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? GNC? They don't sell cars. I'm like, they don't. What? What are you talking about? I see all sorts of GMC cars all over the place. What are you? What? What is going through your mind right now? And he's like, no, you idiot. GNC. 
GNC. They sell like supplements and whatnot. I'm like, what are you talking about? Up until that point, I didn't know GNC was a thing. I thought GNC was just GMC, the car company. I didn't know what GNC was. So he left and I'm like, what in God's name is GNC? I Googled it. I'm like, whoa, this is incredible. I saw one of these, but this entire time I thought that I I thought they were like I don't know like part part stores for the for the General Motor Company, dude. I was like, no, that's why it's so small. That's why that building is so tiny. I was like, there's no way that's a car dealership, but it's it's GMC, right? They gotta like maybe just sell parts and whatnot, air filters, oil filters for their cars, right? No, they sell supplements. They sell pills. It's not even related at all. Jesus Christ, dude, it's like my eyes have been opened from a deep, dark slumber. I feel liberated now that I know this. GNC and GMC are two different things, dude. It's crazy. Good Lord, I feel like I can take on the world knowing this information now. It's actually insane. I feel so good. I feel so good. You might you might think I'm an idiot for not for not putting two and two together, but seriously, dude, like I said earlier, GMC, GNC two very similar logos they sound identical man come on now come on now you can't call me an idiot that that is a a very simple thing to look over i'm serious i'm serious dude but it feels good to now know that this entire time there were actually two different entities it's not too shabby dude not too shabby good lord you know some people why in god's name do some people, and I'm talking about some some funky cretins, stinky individuals, why do they think that it is enough to just put deodorant on every day? Why? You stink. You're funky, dude. Putting deodorant on a body that's funky, that stinks already, is just making it worse because now we got this deodorant scent mixing in with your human musk it's stinking up even worse dude why do you think that's enough it's not enough go get in the shower what's your problem dude why are you afraid of taking a shower what is your deal i love taking showers it's one of the most relaxing things the human body can experience and there are some people some absolute mind-boggling creatures out there that just refuse to do so why is that it's not enough to just put some put some old spice bear glove nonsense on you stink dude you stink i'm sorry go take a shower (laughs) go take a shower you could tell these individuals just putting on deodorant thinking it's enough it's not enough it's not enough man good lord What's your problem? Seriously, just go take a shower. I don't understand why these people are so afraid of it. There's nothing wrong with it, man. You'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it. Good Lord, because it's not working for you. Deodorant on a body that's already stinking, 10 times worse. 10 times worse. Don't do that. Get in the shower. I know somebody who does that. I'm not going to put them on blast, but I need to put everyone, everyone who does this in general on blast. Dude. It's ridiculous. Good Lord. You have a shower. Well, you you might have a shower. Let's not say you will have a shower. Many people don't have a shower. But if you do have a shower, use it. For the love of God, dude, it's there. It's ready to be used. It's primed and ready. You'll enjoy it. You will enjoy it. You will be relaxed. Stop being afraid of taking a shower. Get in there. Clean yourself off. Then use the deodorant. You're actually, you're killing your own deodorant, man. You are shortening the lifespan of your own deodorant by mixing in its fresh scent with your body stench, dude. Rubbing all your sweat on a clean stick of deodorant. Now that stick of deodorant is going to have a layer of human funk resting cresting the top of it so now every time you use it you're gonna have that layer you're putting that layer right back on your body dude it's a it's a never-ending cycle of stench you are the prince of the land of stench or princess of the land of stench get in the shower but that's gonna do it for me today but before we go we must recommend a song we must Good Lord, dude. It's the end of the week. A nice Friday night. Let's see what we're working with, dude. The song we're going to recommend on this fine day is 
stamp on the ground by the Italo brothers. Yes. Yes, dude. An absolute bop. An absolute upbeat jammer. Stamp on the ground by the Italo brothers. Yes. That's a good song right there, dude. Enjoy it. But that's going to do it for me today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please be sure to... Well, I was about to say like and subscribe, but since this podcast will be going on YouTube, yeah, do that too. Do that too. Don't neglect it. Don't neglect it. They're all going up on YouTube. So share, like, and subscribe, and be sure to share this podcast on all forms of social media and let everybody know it exists. Thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.